Hello, how's it going everybody? This is Etho and welcome back to another Let's Play episode. So I'm going to start this off with a little bit of bad news, everybody. Y you might want to sit down for this. Are you sitting down? Sit down. Good boy. Okay. Uh, so the Ender Porter, still no good, guys. You know, I saw a lot of comments about this. I was pretty excited about it as well, like with the new bubble streams. You can float minecarts in them. You can float... Anvils, Falling Sand, all sorts of different entities, mobs, but I guess they don't really work with projectiles. The hope was that we could throw an Ender Pearl and have it just float float in the bubble stream, but it behaves just like it's normal water. It gets slowed down still, but it, it goes up and it just comes straight down. So uh, maybe I'll show you guys the old design here too. I played around with this a little bit to see if I could get it working today again. Uh, but doesn't seem like it's it's gonna work. We still got the same old problems. So I'm gonna turn it on. Got the sound turned down a little bit. <laughs> uh, causes an incredible amount of lag, especially now with the the crummy uh, optimization on redstone. But basically, we got a slime block going up and down repeatedly, and you would throw an Ender Pearl. The water slows it down so that it'll hopefully bounce off the slime. Uh, apparently in this version of Minecraft, though, it doesn't really work. What am I looking for? I was supposed to do this off camera, I forgot. Okay, gotta make a sign. But I did figure out how to get it working again today. Uh, just gonna make a slight adjustment to it. Basically, we need, like, something to hold the water in here. And then a sign here so that the water doesn't try to flow down ever. And if we do that, then I was able to get uh, Andrew Pearl suspended still. I don't know if it happens every time. That time it failed. Uh, let's try again. Oh! Oh, look at that! <laughs> so we got a bouncing Ender Pearl there. And the idea is, like, you can activate this piston here and it'll shoot the Ender Pearl sideways the slime will bounce it this way and then it'll it'll hit something right and then you teleport there so we have these a couple of these built in the world i think we made three of them and you hit the button here and it takes you to the nexus like it activates the one at the nexus and then we get teleported there or we hit this one and it teleports us to the man cave a couple hundred blocks that way right um the issue is just to clarify because you know, I had this built, I thought it was really good and stuff, and then I had issues when I would go through the nether, through the nether portal, and come back, or if I, sometimes when the chunks would unload and reload, just by going away from it and then coming back, then sometimes the ender pearl will just randomly land, even though it's not supposed to. Might happen here. It's loading in. No, no, it's fine. Doesn't happen every time, just if it's in the the right position, I guess. But yeah, if the chunks unload and then reload, that's that's the issue. I was hoping the bubble streams would like solve that problem, but uh, I guess they don't work at all. Come on. <laughs> oh, there we go. You see that? So we got teleported there. It activated even though it wasn't supposed to. All right, everybody, so today is the day we are going to go look for the new ocean biomes and hopefully find a place to set up base, set up our new ocean base, underwater base. Uh, I'll just show you where I plan on looking for an, a new ocean, hopefully. So we're going to take the ice roads because they're convenient. Over there, I think, is the witch farm. Oh, this is super annoying, by the way. Like, it's really hard to nudge these guys out of the way now in this update. <laughs> so if they spawn in the middle of the track here, I haven't put the, the rails in the middle to stop them from spawning yet. Uh, it's really hard to travel down here. This, I don't know where this portal goes, actually. I should check that out someday. Uh, ice road over here is not complete by any means. It's still a pretty big mess. Uh, but look how far we are going to go here. Thankfully, we can travel the distance in pretty much no time at all. All right, so we got some borders here so we don't fall in the lava. Goes through a nether fortress. Then over here, this is where we found uh, one of those mansions. Um, what are they called? Just mansions? I think so. 
you know, in the dark oak biomes. I'm just going to leave the boat here. And now we're going to go beyond that to new new uncharted territory here. Ice road ends. Dug out a little bit of a tunnel here. And we're probably just going to set up the portal somewhere around here. So, one question I get asked often is, why do I carry around so many ender chests with me? Ah, that's a good question. Good question. Uh, a lot of times when I work on a on a new build, I'll always leave an ender chest there, and then I don't have one on me, right? Unless I have a stack of them, then there's always, it always guarantees I'll have one when I need one, right? But it has another pretty cool function. If I ever, like, get stuck or I'm in the nether or something, I need obsidian, <laughs> I'll just break them down and get obsidian that way, right, with the fortune pick. All right, so we got obsidian for our portal. Let's try out this area here. I guess. No, we're doing the corners. We're doing the corners, guys. I'm not skipping out. You thought I was going to there. No, 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 no. All right, here we go. New territory. Please be an ocean. Probably won't be. We'll have to fly around a bit to find one, probably. And there might be a whole ton of lag here, so I'll probably have to cut the video. Oh. Oh, hey, like, look at that. Look at that. I didn't cheat or anything, guys. We found an ocean right away. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay, looking at the coordinates in case I lose this spot again. 11,459 blocks out. Holy smokes. All right, is it a big area? We got the kelp. What is this? Underwater ravine. Gotta make sure I don't die here. Oh, I am lost. How did we get here? Oh, it goes down. I see. <laughs> it's like, why am I in a cave now? I thought I was in an underwater ravine. Hey. Oh, I guess you can't use the fireworks if you're, if you're swimming. Okay, let's go out a little bit more this way. Hopefully, we'll find an area with deep ocean. A lot of people were worried that because my world's amplified, I wasn't going to get the new biomes, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. Oh, look at this. Oh, we got coral here, too. Awesome. <laughs> that did not take long at all. I didn't need no dolphins to find this, even. Oh, man. Oh, how do you get the chest? I can't get it. Did I break the boat? I don't want to break the boat. It's special. A whole bunch of poisonous potatoes, okay. I think you're guaranteed to get one of those, uh... Oh, I don't even know what they're called. The orbs. Yeah, I gotta break it. Gotta break it. Buried... Oh, yeah, we gotta find a buried treasure, right? That's how it works. So we find the boat. We feed the dolphins kelp. They lead us to the boat, and now we gotta find a treasure. I think that's how it works. Is there another chest that I missed? No, I'm breaking it. Ooh. Whoa. Somewhere around here. It's got to be here, right? So is it... Yeah, it's just a chest in the sand. Oh, that's cool. We, get, we got a heart of the sea. <laughs> so I think you're guaranteed to get one of those, right? In these buried chests. 100% thing. TNT. I like that. A little bit of iron, a little bit of food. All right. Well, it looks like we have a pretty nice area here, actually. Where should we set up base? Because I really like the coral biome. The water's really nice there, right? But it's not deep, is my one concern. With the base I want to make, I want it I want it to have deep water. So maybe we got to, like, dig... Dig down or something? Like, settle there, but dig a lot of the land out? Maybe that's the way to go. By the way, I'm not an idiot. I'm I'm just forgetful. You can just like swim through these these things. You don't have to break the boat. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, this is a different layout too. Oops. So not all the boats are the same. Frostwalker leather boots. Oh my goodness. So is there like always one garbage chest and then one good chest? Another buried treasure. 
Hmm. Should we go find this? Alright. Let's go try find it. So it would be this way, right? Oh, we were on the map for a second. Is it this way? No, it's this way. <laughs> oh. I'm not good with directions. There we go. There we go. Figured it out. It's got to be up over here then. Oh, we're getting close. We're getting close. We're right on it. And... Nothing. <laughs> oh, man. This pirate hit his, his, his stuff pretty good. Should be, like, right around here. I guess there's a little bit of sand left. I'm going to take out some of this stuff. I can't find this chest. Oh, there it is. There it is. So it was under sand. A little bit off the island, though, in the water, though. Yeah, we got another one. Cool. They stack. And pretty much the same kind of stuff. I guess maybe... Let's try to find, like, a guardian temple. Because that'll be in deeper water. And then we we can maybe... Uh... Oh. Is that the boost effect from... Uh... Oh, there's magma on the ground. Oh. <laughs> oh, man, that's dangerous. No. No. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Well, this is kind of cool. Nice and sizzly. Oh. Oh, he's got a he's got a trident. Another dolphin died. Where's my food? I'm gonna die. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There it is. Whew. <laughs> this guy's got a trident, man. Where is he? Yeah, man, those hurt. Like I got, I got good armor on. He's, he's wrecking me. Oh, okay, okay. Please, please don't kill me. This is, this is actually pretty bad. Nope. <laughs> don't do it. Oh, he's he's this is this is freaky, man. He's like slowly coming around the corner to get me. Oh, he dropped it. Nice. First trident. Oh, that's sweet. Now we got to get the Oh, it's all broken though. Are they always like that? Impaling one. Huh. Interesting. You can probably repair them, right? I'm going to have to look up how to do that cuz I don't know. Oh man, that was that was pretty cool actually. So do they like this stuff? Hey, hey you. No, you want fish, don't you? Wait, does he play with the, the stuff? Oh, I think he does. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. <laughs> so if you throw items in the water, they kind of chase it and toss it around. <laughs> oh man, he is freaking out. Oh man! What is he doing? He doesn't like the lead. He doesn't like the lead, guys. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> oh snap! Check it out! Nautilus shell and fishing rod. So, we have 11.5% chance of getting the drop here. When we kill them with a looting three sword. According to the wiki page. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. We need those Nautilus shells for, for making the conduits. We need eight of them. Oh, we got it. Holy smokes. I'm either really lucky or maybe the information's wrong. No, he didn't drop the fishing rod. Okay, so I think I just got lucky there. To be honest, I didn't care about the fishing rod. I just wanted this. <laughs> so we need eight of those and then one heart of the sea to make a conduit. Haha. 
so I think I found it here, guys. I looked in like a 5,000 by 5,000 area, and I think this is the best spot I found to set up a base. It's it's pretty good. Uh, what I want doesn't really exist, I don't think, but this is as close as I'm going to get to it, probably. Um, I have certain criteria I'm looking for. Like, I would really like to set up in a coral reef here. We got a pretty decent size one. You got the nice blue water here. Uh, all the plant life and stuff. And the only problem with this is it doesn't go very deep. None of these go very deep. Ideally, I would like to set up a base in one of these coral reefs that's like at Y30. And this only goes down to like 53, right? So I don't think we're actually going to live in a coral reef. But we're going to want to live beside one. Um, we could live here, but then I'd have to do a lot of terraforming, which... It is a lot of work. <laughs> so I think the next best option is to set up beside one in a lukewarm ocean. I marked the spot with some... Yeah, down over here. I think we'll live somewhere around here. Um, so you'll notice we go way down. That was kind of at the level of the coral reef. And it goes way down another like 10 to 20 blocks here. Um... We're at Y30 here, which is about perfect, I would say. You have the option of going down more if you want, or you have, like, 30 blocks of water above you. So if you build tall towers or something underwater, it's going to look good still. Um, there's lots of boat wrecks. I'm finding tons of these things all over the place. We got the nice coral in the background. It's pretty flat, too, for building, which is uh, usually kind of nice. Um... But also, another important thing, there is a Guardian Temple right beside this, too, which is pretty cool. I don't want to set up base at the Guardian Temple. I think the Guardians would get kind of annoying. Um, and then if we build the farm for them, you won't get normal mobs very often. I want to have, like, a natural mob farm. Uh, and then if we go, like, a couple hundred blocks that way, then we'll get the, the Guardians. Like, maybe we'll build the XP farm over there in the future could be cool but yeah I like this I like this area a lot uh, one important thing why we want to build near a coral reef in the snapshot that that's out right now that I'm using 31a um, you need the warm water to grow corals you see that if you guys try that in the the official release it's not gonna work not till the, the next update but it doesn't work when you go to like this is deep lukewarm ocean you get the kelp but you don't get the corals so we're gonna need a coral biome nearby um, possibly I think in the future I'm surprised they didn't do this actually they're gonna change it so that this is just a hunch of mine I think like you can harvest these with with silk touch right so we can farm them I kind of thought we would use these to craft the coral blocks, like these actual blocks here. Uh, but I don't think you can craft these. Not yet, anyway. But maybe in the future they'll change that. We'll use the corals to make them. Like, maybe nine of these will make a blue one. Oh, 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 oh. Did I get it? I got another one! Wow! Doing pretty good. Ah, just kidding. I, I saw him. I saw him. I'm going to get him. Don't you worry, guys. First diamonds in the new area. Excellent. All right, guys. Well, one thing we should probably do right away here. We're going to be working in this area a bunch, right? So I decided to put a portal in one of these coral structures, and I modified it slightly. Uh, so I think the way to do this... We gotta block up the sides, right? And like sandwich ourselves in. And then remove maybe one side, then the other side. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, then we light it so we can break the slime. I think that should be good. Ooh, that looks weird. <laughs> Alright, so we probably gotta fill in the water too. Right? It's not gonna put it out. It's weird, like the top part of it looks fine, but this part, not so much. 
All right, let's see where it takes us in the nether. We got to link up to our ice road now. Oh, it took us right to the same spot. Okay, where will this take us now? Hmm. Oh, it took us to where we came out originally. Okay, I'm going to break this one. Oh, it has a glass shattering sound now. I didn't know that. We got another trident, dude. If I get this, it's going to be like 1 in 10,000. My luck today. No, I don't think I got it. Right? Kelp, kelp. No, I don't I don't see any tridents. So it's a 11.5% chance of getting the tridents with looting three, right? But the first uh, first trident guy I found and then the two Nautilus, first two Nautilus guys I found all drop stuff. So that was like one in a thousand, <laughs> which is pretty lucky, I think. Oh, man. So I discovered a glitch, I think. Uh, I was digging up. I was in the cave. I was digging up to get to the water, right? And some sand fell on me. And then I just glitched through all the blocks and I fell through the world. And lost everything. <sighs> that sucks. <laughs> oh, man. What do I do? Did I? I don't think I deposited the Nautilus shells even. I can't remember if I did. I'm going to check. What did I have on me? So I had my good armor, had my good tools. Oh man, that sucks so bad. Beyond that, I don't think I had anything important. And the Nautilus shells, right? Let me check. Did I deposit those? Not that they're really a big deal. So I put that away. I put those two away. Shells are gone, though. Ah. I mean, like, come on, guys, right? Like, I'm a good person, I, I think. I try to be. I follow the rules as, as much as I can. I, like, I don't... How often do I dig straight down, right? And now, it's too much. It's too much, guys. They can't dig straight up now, either. Can't dig straight down, can't dig straight up. Like, where does it end? Well, I don't know. I'm rage quitting though. <laughs> I need time to get my gear back and, and stuff, right? Uh, so most of that I don't really care about, to be honest. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of time, right? But I do have like backup elytra wings. I've gone around quite a few of the fortresses and stuff, so not worried about those. The big thing is the sword. That sword had like seven enchantments on or eight or something. That was hard to make. Kind of sucks losing that. Plus we've had it forever. I was kind of growing attached to it. I do have a backup that's pretty good, but yeah, that that's the main thing I'm I'm upset about. <laughs> Anyways, it, it'll be fine. Not not too worried about it. We'll get to building next episode, I guess. I did have some plans, but they'll have to wait. Uh, let's get to the comment of the day. It says, "Now pay attention, guys, because this is important, right? I don't want you to be victims either." It says, "Okay, ergo." Remember what I said at last time about how you should try onions? I was wrong. I thought I was all under control. And as of recently, I tried to go a day without eating more than two onions. But I couldn't. The onions have taken over. As soon as I realized the possibility of my demise, I locked myself in a room and tried to cold turkey my way out of the misery. But after two days, I relapsed. I'm checking into rehab on Monday. I hope they can help me. Wish me luck. Now, there's nothing they can do. You know? I know you're trying to say that onions are great and you can't resist them and stuff, but no, they're terrible. Absolutely garbage. They'll ruin your life. There's no way around it. Let that be a lesson to everybody. Don't eat onions. Stop putting them in every single food item ever made when you're cooking as a filler product that tastes terrible and... Gives a terrible, crunchy, nasty texture. Honestly, like, it's the red onions. Those are what really get to me. Green onions, eh, if they're cooked well, they don't really bug me that much. But the red ones, that strong, like, nasty flavor. It's just... Mm -hmm. Avoid them, guys. That's it for today. We'll get back to uh, the, the aqua base in the future here. And we'll probably uh, start working on the ice farm or something next episode, too. Uh, but anyways... 
That's it for today. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.